The bass has just come in. Yes, yes, Sahel is here. We are on to number eight for Olivia Rodrigo. This one's been recommended to me a couple of times. I'll, I'll put the recommendations on the screen now. This is Favourite Crime by Olivia Rodrigo. Fairly short song, two and a half minutes. Let's get straight into it. Treat me like that I was your willing accomplice, honey And I watched as you fled the scene Though I as you buried me One heart broke Four hands bloody Okay, quick pause there, just for the introduction. I really like this introduction, actually. If you've seen my previous Olivia Rodrigo reactions, and if you haven't, go check them out there in the description below. You'll know that as I listen to more of her music, I understand how capable she is of introducing musical variety into all of her songs. At this point, I just don't know what to expect with her music, really, and I'm still, I'm still learning about her, her musical techniques, the kind of harmonic progression she likes, her voice, etc. This one, it's not what I was expected. It's much more calm. Like, very, very calm, actually. I can imagine it's really calming to a lot of people who like it. Obviously, you've got the, the plucked acoustic guitar and then just the one-line melody. I'm getting the gist that this is going to be an emphasis more on her voice and her singing, as opposed to having loads of instruments and stuff. But we'll see, we'll see. The things I did it's that very airy. So I could call you but very airy um the things you did well i hope i was your favorite crime that's nice sorry i'm <laughs> i'm really bad at multitasking so i i was just cutting myself out to to listen to the music i was saying it's a really airy um type of voice that she's implementing here especially in the harmonies in her head voice i have heard that she can go that high when belting using her chest voice or her full voice but in this case, you've got the melody and then the harmonies either below or above, very airy. I just wanted to quickly single out one of the harmonic lines here. Was your favorite cry. Uh, cry. Contrasting the melody is nice. Cross my heart as you cross the line And I defended you to all my friends And now every time a siren sounds I wonder if you're around Cause you know that I'd do it all again All the things I did Just so I could call you mine It's... I don't want to compare it to other music, but it's reminding me personally of Fleet Foxes. It's just that kind of style where the instrumentation really is plucked acoustic guitar, which acts as the rhythm because I've noticed here, you know, we're one and a half minutes in nearly and there's been no kind of percussion at all, no drums or anything. So it's this guitar that acts as the rhythm. Every pluck is almost like a tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick keeping it going. Why I say it's, it reminds me of the Fleet Foxes, if you know the Fleet Foxes and you'll know what I mean, which is that a lot of their music, there are three or four part vocal harmonies all the way through pretty much, or at least for the majority of their songs. In other words, voices act as the instrumentation. You're not relying on like man-made instruments using method. It's just the vocal cords, which are naturally to humans, very, very soothing and calming. So I'm liking it. It's a very, very, very relaxing song. The things you did well, I hope I was your favourite cry Ooh. I feel that that's changed there and the previous 10 seconds or so I thought was really nice. I was going to say it starts with a very subtle ooh in the background from I think here. The things you did well, I hope I was your favorite And then here 
to R, but obviously there were. It was, it was um, she'd put herself singing, so the parts kind of overlap. Listen up for that. What was your favorite car? It's nice. It's bittersweet to think about the damage that we do. Cause I was going down, but I was doing it with you. Yeah, everything we broke and all the trouble that we made. But I say that I hate you with the smile on my face. Oh, look what we became. Okay, so now I feel like it's getting to a climax, maybe towards the end of the song, yeah, where there's another 30 seconds. The it's bittersweet to think about bit, where was that? I've said it in a lot of my previous reactions, a very catchy musical technique is when you just have the same repeated note. It's catchy because it's simple, it's easy to remember. You don't need to listen to it many times to know the melody. It's the same note. Here, she's just alternating between two, so it's almost like doubling the effect of it, weirdly. It's bittersweet to think about the damn and then you've just got it sounds like just one bass note but there are actually little chords going in the background underneath providing the only instrumentation so this bit is very very bare and it provides emphasis on the lyrics there's less to listen to so what do you do you have more time to focus on the lyrics you yeah everything we broke and all the trouble that we made but i say that i hate you with the smile on my face and now here she's high in her chest voice, the highest so far actually. She's just building up and now we have the bass has just come in. Boom, 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 boom. Very subtle though, very subtle. But enough to, to give it that like uh. Nice chords there as well. That ending, I'm just going to say, it reminds me of The A-Team by Ed Sheeran. Uh, let, let me quickly find that. Yes, just quickly, here's the ending of A-Team. It is similar, it's the, the, the same pitch as well, the same notes. Yeah, that, that was a really, really nice song, actually. I don't want to say I didn't expect it to be nice because, you know, I have quite enjoyed her other songs, but it's nice in a different way, in a relaxing way. And this is the sort of music, I don't know why, but I feel like if you're going through some hard times in life, you can listen to this and at least temporarily it will remove you from the hardships that you might be experiencing. There's just something so soothing about it. No doubt her voice plays a massive part in that, but I just think it's cleverly written. The instrumentation wasn't too much ever and even when you had that bass coming in kind of like the climax of the song it still wasn't too much it was you know just, just right let me know if you agree disagree down in the comments below or if there are any other songs by her that you'd like me to react to as always thank you for watching would appreciate a like subscribe and i will see you next time